There are many purposes of the gift of discernment. Every spiritual gift given to us is for the edifying of the body of Christ. Just like God has stated it in the book of Ephesians, the chapter 4, verses 11. To some he gave apostles, to some prophets, to some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers. And the purpose of these gifts is for the edifying of the body of Christ. You need to know that a prophet is a gift. An apostle is a gift. A teacher is a gift. These are gifts in the body of Christ. And other nine spiritual gifts are also added. And all this is to edify and to help the body of Christ stand up and do well. Now, so there are many purposes why we should have the gift of discernment. Number one purpose is for deliverance from demons. Demons must be discerned to be exposed. You have to discern them to expose them. Your inability to discern, to discern demons will not give you the ability to expose them or to deliver them. Some people even struggle in casting out of devils because they don't even know the type of spirit they are dealing with. You don't know. Jesus met a demon and all of a sudden he said, we are legion, don't cast us out. Now, Jesus knew the type of spirit he was dealing with. Listen to this. One demon, Jesus said, how many are you? And he said, we are many. And another one wanted to talk and he cast him out. One of the demons, he allowed him to speak. Another one, he didn't allow him to speak. Because when you are casting out a demon of lies, you don't allow him to speak. So your ability to discern demons will give you, you know, an upper hand in setting people free. It will give you an upper hand in setting people free. So the ministry of casting out devils is still essential even up until now. It's still essential. And one thing about, some people say that they don't cast out devils. And some people want to argue with them. No, you don't have to argue with them. Casting out of devils, you are not supposed to say out. Even teaching the word can make a devil live a human being. Just exposing the dirty things of the devil through the word of God will make a demon live. Why? Because as you are exposing them, they are living. What, what will give people freedom in the church is not just the force you exert on those demons, but the knowledge you impart on the members or the believers. As you impart knowledge, they have the ability to break forth and to break loose from demonic utterances. Number two reason why we descend is to reveal the servants of Satan. When you descend, you are able to reveal the servants of Satan. When you read Acts 13, 8 to 12, there was a man by name Elmas who encountered Paul. Paul was busy trying to get a soul. He was busy ministering. And there was another man by name Elmas. Elmas was standing against the word of God. Whilst Paul was saying, he was standing against it. And then Paul discerned that Elmas was serving an evil spirit and that he was from the devil. And then Paul cast him away. Paul exposed him. Paul even made him become blind. So as you are able to discern, you will be able to expose some people. If Paul wasn't having the spirit of discernment, he would think that Elmas was a good person. He would think that he was from God because the Bible said in the days of Elmas, a lot of people was following him. Until Paul appeared in the scene, Elmas was having crowd. Everyone was following him wherever he was going. People want to follow because Elmas was a man of the moment. He was a man of the time and whatever he says, people do. He was a commander of his generation until Paul appeared. So the way people respected him they thought that he was from God and to Paul descended and know that he was from the devil. So with the descendant of spirit, you'll be able to know which spirit is operating and who is behind the oppression of who. One of the reasons why we need to descend is that you expose and defeat the works and the utterances of demons. This is clearly illustrated in Acts 16, 16 to 18. The Bible said that there was a slave girl who the people of this slave girl was using her for money. But Paul and Silas came to town and he was following them, prophesying over them. Of course, if you are a prophet and somebody meets you and said, this man carries the spirit of God. This man is from God. Hear him. Whatever he say, listen to him because he's from God. You, of course, you. What will you think and what will you say? Because this person is confirming you. He's not against you. And then the Bible said, day and night, he was following Paul and Silas prophesying and telling that they are from God in the book of Acts 16. And the Paul descended that the spirit that was in the lady was not of God, but it was an evil spirit. And he cast it out. And when Paul casted out the spirit, the Bible said the people who was behind the slave girl, because people were making money out of those divinations, they came and they were angry with Paul for casting out the spirit because he has spoiled their business. How come? If it is a Holy Spirit, how come it was casted out? It is a sign that it was never Holy Ghost in the first place. So 
Discernment to expose error. Discernment of spirit reveals not only the workers of Satan, but it can also expose error, wrong teachings. It can expose wrong doctrines and it can correct it. So somebody can discern and know that the doctrine you are teaching is not from God. It may be sensational. People, you may carry away many people. Many people will follow you and they love what you are doing. But another person sitting down can discern and know that this thing you are teaching, it is an error. And you are mentoring crowd to an error. And as a result of that, it can cause a lot of harm. So because of that, God has given us the discernment of spirit so that we can expose error and correct it. And this is given to many teachers. They can know that what you are teaching is not from God. Hallelujah. The number five purposes for the discernment of spirit is know the moving of the Holy Spirit so as to cooperate with Him. One of the important reasons why discernment of spirit is important is to know where the Holy Spirit is moving and to, to cooperate with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not supposed to cooperate with you. You're supposed to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. And until you know what He's doing at a particular time, you will not be able to cooperate with Him. If you want Holy Ghost to cooperate with you, you will lead to an error because you are a man and you are full of errors. But cooperating with the Holy Ghost, He will never lead you to an error. Never. So we need discernment of spirit to know what the Holy Spirit is doing at this particular time so that we can cooperate with Him. The move of God at this time. That is why I can be ministering, I can be preaching, and all of a sudden I'll say, stand up. And as you stood up, I'll start prophesying. Or I'll say, stand up. And as you stood up, I'll be praying for the sick. Why? Because at that time, I discern that there's an angel of healing or there's an anointing of healing there. And far as there's an anointing of healing, what we need to do is to pray for the sick and to set them free. Or we discern that at this time, there's an angel of prophecy. There's an angel of financial prosperity. There's an angel, or at this time, at this particular time, businessmen need to be prayed for. You have descended and you are following the move of the Holy Spirit. You are following the move of the Holy Spirit. Not just in church, but even outside church. Your ability to descend will determine the type of business you do at this particular time. You will know that at this time, you should do so, so, and so. I told you of the story of how I prophesied to one man to start electrical businesses. And even in their village, there was no light. And according to my word, he started it. And he started the electrical shop and the following month, they gave them light. And the man became rich overnight because everyone was buying from him. All that area, people were traveling from different places buying from him. That was how he became rich. Now, that was discernment. Discernment of spirit will even help you to know who to marry and who not to marry. So everyone needs the discernment of spirit. And I prophesy over your life, you have the ability to discern spirit in the name of Jesus. Have you ever made Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life? If not, pray this prayer and start a new life in Christ. Dear God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I admit that I am not right with you, and I want to be right with you. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. The Bible says if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now that you are born again, you can worship with any Stars of Heaven church close to you or any Bible-believing church. Locate Stars of Heaven Ministries in Bolgatanga on top of the Ghana News Agency building. Sundays, first service, from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Second service, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And evening services from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Midweek services on Wednesdays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesdays for counseling from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. For more inquiries, contact the numbers on your screen. Thank you.